Hello everyone, I'm Yas Mert. Today I and our group member am represents our final project. First of all, the project we have created is a chatbot application. We use Prolog language while creating this chatbot. Since interface design with Prolog is difficult, we use the Python language while designing the interface. First, we see the required libraries in our main file file. After importing these libraries, the code required for the process file that we used at the beginning of our chatbot application is located here, as you can see. Afterwards, the part written in Prolog is converted to Python with this code. This function helps to convert Prolog to Python, and then application starts. In addition, the color design of the interface has been determined by OS system color F1. Let's run our project. As can be seen, the screen is designed with the blue text on a white background and the process bar is wrong. Then chatbot asks the user for the name and application will run. Let's go back to product parts of our code. In the product part, the application works with Go function. Two knowledge base were used in our project. These are the medical knowledge base, which included the disease, and the other one is medicine knowledge base, where the drugs suitable for this disease are recommended. As can be seen on the screen, hypothesis and symptoms are taken for the first part. And medicine suitable for the disease is defined in second part. As you can see, first part and second part. The application asks the user questions to confirm the symptoms of each disease defined on knowledge base. This is where the ask function gets a role. According to the yes or no response received from the user, the backward chaining process is shaped according to whether the symptoms exist or not. So we can uh, talk about how the backward chaining uh, method works. To summarize how the backward chaining method works, let's say we have hypertension. Therefore, let's respond positive to, positively to the hypertension symptoms defined in knowledge base. So we can find disease from symptoms and diagnose it with using backward chaining. As I see that we have uh, five of uh, symptoms uh, from hypertension. Uh, our application starts asked, uh, asks about the symptoms and which we see about headache, chest pain, dizziness, loss of balance or lack of concentration. If we uh, answer them all yes, the uh, application will diagnose our uh, disease as hypertension. Let's continue. And so we can understand that uh, backward chaining uses something like ends uh, or gates to backtrack all the symptoms and reach off the top, which is disease and uh, which is hypertension. So let's run the program. So in this case, first of all, uh, as my friend said, our chatbot application takes your username from you. Uh, let's type our username and uh, at the end of query in this project, uh, you have to insert a dot because uh, query is not working if we doesn't insert uh, dots at the end of query. Let's press enter. And it starts to ask about uh, symptoms and try to verify about it. Uh, with getting yes or no inputs from the user. After taking the user's name, it starts to ask uh, questions according to the symptoms, which is defined on the knowledge base. In case of saying no to the questions asked, the backward chaining process will be disrupted and it will pass to the other disease. 
if the previously answered positive symptom is also a symptom of the new disease, questions won't be asked about that symptom. So let's show about it. Uh, let's think about we have migraine and our symptoms are there. So we don't have fever in symptoms. We don't have any itching, not continuous sneezing, acidity. We saw that, so we continue with yes. But it's uh, application find acidity before here. Let's see. Yes. It continue, application continues with your symptoms, but uh, we don't have um, stomach pain, so we continue with no. After we said no, uh, the backward chaining method is disrupted and program continue with the other hypothesis or other disease. So don't, we don't have vomiting, not muscle wasting, not fatigue and headache. Uh, program um, running with the sorted, uh, sorted likewise. So we just wanted to say acidity, indigestion, headache, or else, else, but headache uh, is before the indigestion. So we think that in headache be, will be appeared before the migraine. So we say yes, not chest pain. After that, we say we saw indigestion. So we, we answered headache as yes before, and program uh, won't be asked about. Uh, this symptom again, cooler than distorted vision, yes, excessive hunger, yes, definitely, yes, depression, yes. After the all uh, positive response to those symptoms, our application uh, diagnosed our disease as migraine. And then just using a few lookups, uh, our uh, application advises are some medicines. And at the end of the program, our chatbot application says some advices uh, to our daily life and our health. Thank you for listening. This is all from us.